You don't want to miss out on the opportunity to be making extra cash fast, especially from places like Instagram. Stay tuned because I'm going to show you my secret for selling out before I even lift a finger in creating any kind of product that we sell in our shop. We are all about pre-selling, which means that you're selling product before you actually create it. This is a great thing for you if you're newer to business and you don't know what actually is going to sell. If you want a super easy way to set up your store in Shopify, I'm gonna walk you through how to get those pre-sale products up and going quickly. Let's flip the screen around and walk you through what this would look like if you're using Shopify to pre-sell your digital download products. We're going to come over here to the products tab on that left hand menu and we're going to come over to the right hand side click add product and we're going to type the title of our product but first we're going to make sure people know it's on pre-sale by typing in big caps letters pre-sale and for this example I'm just going to say that I'm selling 20 coaching email templates and in the description once again above everything else we are going to make sure that everyone knows this is a pre-sale so we're just going to type pre sale item will be delivered within and then you can choose what time frame you want so is it 14 days 30 days of purchase i would suggest 30 because it gives you a little bit more time and because they're getting a discount usually on pre-sale items you can check out my other videos about how to price and pre-sell price and all of that but usually i give people a little bit of a price break because they're not getting it immediately but we also like to surprise and delight in my store and get those pre-sale items out the door in about a week even though we say it's going to be delivered in 30 days. Although I will say the faster you promise to deliver it, even though they're not getting it right away, the much more likely they are to purchase. So if you do want those sales, I would go for 14. If you are willing to take a little bit of a risk of losing sales, you can go for 30 days. So we're, I'm just going to put 14 days and then I'm going to start writing my product description. So this is everything that is included with the products. Now that I have my description written, I'm just going to format it a little bit. So I'll make that bold. I could even make it a really big header if I wanted so that it's like super obvious, or I could just keep it regular paragraph text. And then obviously I've listed out all of the features that are delivered and I gave a little incentive here. So this is just a little bonus tip. I'm giving someone access to I've just made this up, but you know, I made a badass coaches Facebook group and you're going to get access immediately. So they're going to get all of this at a discount. And then in this section here, I'm just going to go ahead and upload any videos explaining what the templates are, what they do, my thumbnail, my product thumbnail, so that that shows on the site as they're browsing. I'm also going to add any other relevant images such as any product testimonials that I want to highlight or feature or happy clients and maybe even some mock-up shots of someone using my digital product in real life. Obviously you're going to use your thumbnail. I just used a thumbnail from a previous YouTube video for my online store and if you want to add even more media you can do that here. We're going to come down here. Don't worry about the compare at price. In my opinion this is more for like regular e-commerce where they're kind of running those constant Macy's Old Navy type sales and just want to make it like it look like it's always on sale. I'm going to price my product at $100. And if you need to charge tax, there's an option here to do that. We're going to go down to inventory and uncheck track quantity because I have an unlimited quantity. It's a digital product. Since it's not a physical product, I'm also going to uncheck that under the shipping. And this might be important for you if you do sell any kind of variants or if you want to test these variants under the pre-sale. So what I'm going to do here, they have some pre-made options, but I'm actually going to delete this and choose my own. And then I'm going to type in the different kinds of coaching specialties because let's just say using this example, I'm going to create slightly different email kits per each specialty to help them get the most out of that. So I have my specialties here and if I wanted to add other variants, I could, but then you start to confuse your customer. So I really only try to stick to one kind of variant. And on the back end here, we can also change what these costs. So let's say that the business one just involves a little more work. I'm going to make that one a little more pricey and the relationship Relationship one is a lot less work. So I'm going to make that 75 and then the rest are just going to be the regular one. And then we can come down here and we can see what our listing will look like if someone searches for this in Google and we can edit either the title. I'm going to go ahead and take this out, the pre-sale out of the page title. That way when I do take it off pre-sale, it isn't like cached in someone's browser with that. And then I'm also going to take it out of here because it's still going to be on the page in our description above, but it just won't be showing up on Google. You can see that's changed the search engine description. We're not done quite yet. We want to go back up here and we want to choose an active status that will put the product live in our store. And if there's anywhere we don't want to sell, 
all this. We can uncheck those channels. I'm just going to deselect all and only sell it in my store. And then we can also choose what kind of type of product it is. So I have some pre-made categories here. I would just pick the best one. If you don't have any categories yet, you can think about what categories you're considering or what this would best fit into and then write out whatever category you want here. For your collections, I'll show you an example of what this looks like on our site in just a second, but it just helps people to search by their industry and they can look at all the products we have available for them. And then that way they can find this pack of email templates more easily. And then for the tags, I'm just going to go and check the tags that best apply to this product. And you can always add new tags just by typing it here. The last thing to do is just make sure that if you have multiple product templates that you're always using the one that you would like. And when you hit save, it's going to now publish this product to your online store. This is what it's going to look like on the front end. So we just looked at the back end and set that up, but this is what it looks like on the front end. You can see if I just picked specialty and that was the only text here, that would be really confusing. So instead, that's why I gave a little more context saying, choose your specialty below when we were doing that variant process. And then they can choose and you can see the right price is going to come up per the specialty that they select. We have the product description here, it's formatted and everything is good to go. If I had more media, it would just be showing up here in the carousel or however your template presents it. And then, like I said, I was going to show you how we have categories that people can search. So you saw on the back end that we had some pre-made categories and here they are on the front end, making it just a little bit easier for people to search. So for example, on my own site, if someone was a coach and they only wanted to look at coaching products and not like stuff for graphic and web designers, then they would just shop here. They wouldn't have to shop the whole product catalog. And that's how easy it is to set up your product for sale in Shopify, even before you've lifted a finger in the creation of it. We're gonna pre-sell to get you that fast cash and you can use that cash to further develop the products and give you the incentive and the motivation to make sure that they actually get in your store. If you have any questions about pre-selling your products, be sure to drop them in the comments below. We're always going through looking at your comments and creating new video content. So for example, next week, I'm gonna be showing you how to create your shop in Squarespace super easily, super quickly. And the week after that, we're gonna be talking all about how to get these affiliates out there promoting your store, even if you're just starting out. So make sure you're subscribed, that way you don't miss any of that future content. And be sure to check back to our old videos so that you can catch up on all the great stuff that we've already created for you. We've also linked a video here on the screen for you right now so you can jump right in and see if Shopify is a good fit for you or if you want to hold off until our tutorial next week all about Squarespace.